Battlestate Games pushed out an update in Tarkov that affects ammo and armor. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Nate here again. Uh, so this was a very interesting update that went out recently in Tarkov and I wanted to break it down in a video so that way information to you is accurate and I can give some of my insight and opinion as to what these changes will do. Right off the bat, the ammo 762 BP, M61, M995, and PS12B have all been removed from the traders' inventories and are banned from the flea market. For those of you that are new to the game, the flea market is the player trading system. So all that this means is that you either have to find them in a raid, or you have to craft them in your hideout with a high enough uh, workbench upgrade. 855A1 is still available to purchase just with a different trader, which is Peacekeeper. Along with these changes, Ragman won't be selling the Wrist T, the Vulcan 5, or the Alton helmets. The Giselle K armor can't be bought with rubles, but now instead requires a barter trade. Sights have been changed as well. The sights that have been changed are the Vortex Razor 1 to 6 time sight, the Burris Full Field 1 to 4 time sight, and the Voodoo 1 to 6 time sight, which can only be bought by again doing a barter trade but can still be bought on the flea market. So because you can still buy these on the flea market, you can expect those prices of those sites to go up a lot more than what they are now. So if you come across any of those sites, uh, make sure to keep them. They're probably gonna be worth a pretty good chunk. If you wanna see a full list of items banned from the flea market starting from the 12.12 update, uh, check out this article I'm putting in the description from GG Recon, and they, they break down all the different items uh, that you can't sell on flea. So from the perspective of a new player, what does this all mean? Well, it means that the higher tier ammo that can easily pierce through level three or four armor is now going to be a little bit harder to find and it's gonna take a lot longer to craft. Generally speaking, the Giga Chads that mow you down are gonna have a harder time finding that one to two tap ammo. It also means that the helmets that block one tapping like the Alton are going to be harder to find. It's a double-edged sword really because high ammo and high armor are going to be harder to find. To give some perspective on this, prior to the 12.12 update, you could buy whatever, there was no problem of you getting a slick armor and AP ammo as long as you had the money and somebody was willing to sell it. As this wipe continues, I think you're gonna see a lot more people using those higher flesh round bullets, you know, like the rip, but you're also gonna see people hunting down what the next equivalent is, like what the next BP is going to be. In my opinion, a good alternative if you've used BP is going to be going through with the 366 APM. It penetrates just as much as BP and does a little more damage. I've got some great info from a buddy, uh, Bars, who is a tracksuit king and hunts down Killa every wipe, saying that because the PS12B is harder to find, that a 545BS is a great alternative to a two-tapping Killa in the head. If you haven't checked him out, give him a follow on Twitch. He's a fantastic streamer and even better tracksuit gamer. This also makes upgrading your hideout vital because if you want some of these ammo types on a regular basis, your next bet is to craft them and crafting high tier items uh, can take a little bit longer. It's a good idea to run these crafts at the end of the night before you hop off. That way the next time that you're up, you can just log in and collect. I know Tarkov is a very complicated and information heavy game, but hopefully this video uh, breaks down those changes a little bit more and keeps you in the loop with what's happening in the game. Hey guys, I know a uh, video just ended, but I just want to give a huge uh, thank you to the community just for watching this and uh, showing a tremendous amount of support. Uh, it, it really does. It keeps me it keeps me going. If you like these informational videos and guides, make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for the PvP guide that is going to be coming out next. Uh, I appreciate you guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.